Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the playlist and in this playlist we will be working with uh, adiabatic quantum computing using D-Wave Systems Ocean Toolkit and so obviously uh, the first step is to install this toolkit and that's what we will be doing today in this video. So you can see the toolkit is tested on all these three major operating systems uh, with these specifications that you can see and uh, in this video I will be installing the toolkit using uh, anaconda environment but if you are just trying to use uh, install it without anaconda environment by just using python and command prompt i will just uh, give you the corresponding instructions in the description so you don't miss it out and if you want to install anaconda uh, i will also link one video of the same so let's start first just uh, open your anaconda prompt and uh, once the uh, prompt is open what you can do is just type conda deactivate so conda deactivate is the command that will deactivate your by default base by default activation of base environment so when i do that you can see uh, the base return bracket is vanished now uh, navigate to a directory where you want to install uh, your uh, uh, toolkit uh, where you will be work, uh, working with all the python files so i recommend you create a new folder for this thing and once you have created it you can navigate to it so my folder uh, is in the d drive so i will navigate to that drive and the name of the folder is d wave now you can just create a new conda environment using this function uh, this command that you can see and uh, i recommend using python 3.8 version because more advanced version may cause issues because uh, i have been using ibm Fiskit and there are possibilities of such issues so it's better to work with the version that has been around since some time so you can use conda create minus n name of the environment and then python equal to 3.8 i am not executing this because i have already created the environment and you can just execute this command it will ask you some permissions to install some uh, stuff and you can just enter y and it will create uh, the environment for you and once that is done what you can do is uh, conda activate uh, whatever uh, your name is that you have chosen for the environment for uh, me uh, the name was dwave and once I hit enter now, you can see uh, the D-Wave is activated. You can see it in the brackets here. And uh, now I want to install it. So I will just go here. Uh, you can see pip install D-Wave Ocean SDK. Just copy this command and just paste it here, right? It's pip install D-Wave Ocean SDK and once you will hit enter it will install it so i will hit enter but it will show that it's already installed because i've just installed it already so it's already present here so it's loading and you can see the requirements are already satisfied because the toolkit is already installed and once this is done you can just deactivate it and just close this one. and uh, yeah, you have, if there are no errors uh, I don't think there should be any errors it's a straightforward procedure and I think uh, now it's time to see if you have actually successfully uh, installed the DA version so let's do that so once you are done with the installation open the folder that you created using any of the editor I have used here vs code and uh, now uh, you just create a python file so test.py you can see uh, the file is created and it's uh, loading the extensions i just look at the bottom here and uh, it's just trying to discover the interpreters and, uh, it will take some time we have to uh, wait a little for it 
and you can see here uh, at the bottom if i click there are all these various virtual environments out of which uh, you should uh, check this one out d wave right because that's where what we have uh, that's where we have installed the toolkit so from here you will be able to you can see d wave conda environment and you will just select it so make sure you select the environment carefully and if you don't have vs code it's uh, still fine i will link a video that will help you to install vs code and link it with anaconda so with that's done uh, to test if you have successfully installed the toolkit or not what you can do is just try to import the wave and you can see uh, it's directly recommended if you uh, type the wave and it shows module not found error or something like that it just means that you have not successfully installed and you need to you might be required to uh, do all the steps all over again or check where you have just gone wrong but i think it's a very straightforward uh, procedure and you might have just done it and with that said uh, i will see you in the next video in this playlist where, where we will go to go through the hello world of idea better quantum computing so until then uh, take care